Chelsea with a poor performance against Swansea, but still getting those important three points with a 1-0 victory thanks to an early goal by Cesc Fabregas. Chelsea now six points off Liverpool with a game in hand over them and just two points off Spurs, although they do have a game in hand over Chelsea. Hello there guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea for my review of the Swansea versus Chelsea game and we won the game 1-0 but it really wasn't a good performance it was a poor performance in my opinion anyway but the most important thing is to get the three points and that's what we did but getting into it and starting it off with the lineup it was a 3-5-2 actually with Thibaut Courtois in goal a back three of Cesar Spiliqueta, Gary Cahill and Antonio Rüdiger, Victor Moses and Emerson Palmieri as the two wingbacks and Gola Kante, Bakayoko and Cesc Fabregas as the three centre midfielders and then Olivier Giroud starting ahead of Eden Hazard as the front two. Two. And like I said, it was a 3-5-2, although as it usually is when we play a 3-5-2, one of the midfielders, in this case as Fabregas, does drift out wide to almost create a 3-4-3 at times, but overall it was a 3-5-2. Cale and Emerson did keep their place like I thought they would, you know, my preview on Thursday this time. And Bakayoko got another start in a three-man midfield, and generally I was quite happy with that lineup, but in the end it turned out not to be also great. But getting into the game, we literally got the perfect side as Cesc Fabregas put us 1-0 up in only the 4th minute. Swansea make a mistake in a build-up play, Kante intercepts the ball, plays it to Eden Hazard who takes the ball forward before playing a nice outside of the boot pass to Fabregas right at the edge of the box. And the Spaniard took the ball first time with his weaker left foot and curled the ball over the keeper into the far corner. And it was a good finish, a good goal, a good assist and like I said, just the perfect start. The game slowed down a bit after that goal though and neither team really managed to create anything until the 17th minute when we played out a nice attack by Fabregas switching the play to Bakayoko and Emerson. The latter then played the ball back across to Victor Moses who went past this man very nicely and even got his shot away inside the box but the shoulder off the defender blocked his shot otherwise you know it really looked like it was going in. In the 21st minute after a few dangerous moments by Chelsea in a row, Swansea when trying to clear the ball actually hit it against their own bar. They got a bit lucky there, although it obviously would have been a very lucky goal for us as well. And the game was more even than you'd maybe expect. Swansea didn't create anything, but we weren't in complete control and dominating the game. The better team, yes we were that, but not as much as you'd maybe think and hope as a Chelsea fan. And nothing else really happened in the rest of the first half, and that was half-time or 1-0. Generally a very slow and uneventful first half after we scored, with only a few almost moments and half chances on our side, but literally nothing on Swansea's side of things. The pitch conditions really didn't help either. It was extremely wet, raining very heavily, and the water slowed the ball down a lot, which made passing and everything, just football in general, quite difficult. But also, I thought that the wingbacks just set way too deep, considering we were playing a 3-5-2 with Olivier Giroud up top. And Giroud is, in my opinion, too immobile and too slow to play out counter-attack or quick attacks, just with Hazard when the wingbacks aren't far enough forward to be involved in the attack. The start of the second half was pretty much the same as most of the first half. Just a bit slow in attack, leaving almost all of the second work to Eden Hazard. And when we did have good opportunities to, for example, cross the ball, we either messed up the cross or no one made the correct run in the middle to meet the cross. And after, again, simply nothing happened until the 65th minute I felt like we needed to change things up. Either bring on Morata for Bakayoko or Fabregas and go 3-4-1-2 with Hazard behind the strikers or bring either William or Pedro on for Bakayoko or Fabregas and go 3-4-3 because what we were doing really didn't work very well at all. But it is Antonio Conte at the end of the day so what was I thinking, you know, hoping for changes in the 65th minute. Then in the 73rd minute we finally created our first real chance off the second half after very good play between Hazard and Fabregas. Hazard crossed from inside the box already was then blocked, fell to Fabregas who took the ball on the volley didn't connect with him properly and actually hit Moses, who was stood inside the six-yard box. From Moses' leg, the ball then bounced just inches wide of the post. We, you know, almost made it 2-0 there, but it would have been slightly lucky as well. And then Swansea started to get into the game more. In the 77th minute, they actually got close to an equaliser when Andre Ayew put a curling effort just wide of the post. But then Eden Hazard had a good chance, a really good chance actually, to make it 2-0. After Giroud headed the long ball by Fabregas back to the Belgian, who took it on first time with his weaker left foot, but properly scoffed his shot wide. And that was then really Hazard's last action of the game as he was subbed off a minute later for William, while Pedro also came on to replace Fabregas. As we seemingly changed from the 3-5-2 we started with to the 3-4-3. And then Alvaro Morata came on for Olivier Giroud in the 85th minute to be our final substitution. In the 89th minute, Swansea again got really close to equalising when Carroll put a low-driven effort literally just an inch or two wide off the post and we got a bit lucky there but that was then really full time and a 1-0 victory in Wales. A poor performance after the perfect start got us an important win in our fight to at least keep the chances of getting top four alive. We just had three shots on target over the whole 90 minutes, same amount as Swansea had in the end. And defensively fair enough it was quite good but also don't forget Swansea have the least amount of goals scored in the entire league alongside Huddersfield so seeming quite strong defensively against Swansea maybe isn't 
the you know the thing to be most proud of really but going forward we just didn't do enough just weren't good enough really but I want to say it again I don't just want to put all of the lack of attacking prowess just on the players because the pitch seemed horrible like awful and that was also stated by people at the ground who obviously would see better than I would over TV and I mean yes Swansea aren't anywhere near as good of a side footballing wise as we are but they also struggle to create anything with the ball and it's not an excuse because if you know football if you've ever played football on a proper wet pitch. You know just how much an awful pitch with standing water affects the game. But also I have to say that Antonio Conte just waited way too long to make changes, you know, because I think if we made those changes earlier, we could have had a much more comfortable win and maybe got, you know, another goal or two. But it is a win nonetheless, and that's obviously the most important thing, especially with Liverpool dropping two points in their nil-nil draw against Stoke earlier today. We are now, like I said in the beginning, six points off Liverpool with a game in hand over them and two points off Spurs, who are still to play on Monday night, I think. So like I've said it before, top four isn't, you know, long Likely. It's still a small possibility, but we are playing Liverpool next week. And if we do win that, we go within three points of them and we have a game in hand over them. And obviously, if we do win that, they just need to drop points in their home game against Brighton. A draw, a loss, whatever that would do. If, you know, all of those things come together, we do still finish in the top four. Whether that will happen or not, I don't know. I'm not going to say it will happen, but there is a chance. And obviously, we had to get the win to keep that chance alive. Generally, no one was particularly great today. Hazard worked and ran his socks off, to be fair to him, and was the only player to really look a threat. But also, for him, things didn't really come off. Still a decent and hard-working performance by the Belgian, though. And the other player I want to mention is Emerson Palmieri. And he still hasn't really gotten the chance to show his attacking qualities, with the exception of a few glimpses. But defensively, he's showing that he's quite a very decent player, actually. His positioning and tackling was very good today. And he's also calm on the ball under pressure. So, yeah, I am liking Emerson and I hope he can keep his place, even though Alonso is back from his suspension for the game against Liverpool next week. Whether Emerson will or not, I doubt it. But I would certainly like to see Emerson start again. But that's really it for me. Leave me all of your thoughts on the game, on the performance down in the comments section below. Of course, we, I think we can all agree, as Chelsea fans, the win is the most important thing. But I also think we can all agree that the performance just wasn't very good. If you disagree or if you agree, just let me down down in the comment section below. Leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to check out my social media, which is Laos1507 on both Instagram and Twitter. As you can see over here, I would massively appreciate it if you could follow me over there. Also, do make sure you subscribe to 100% Chelsea if you haven't already. We would massively appreciate that. But also make sure you click the notification bell button and choose to be notified about every single upload. Because if you don't, you will only know about half of our videos. And also, you know, I've mentioned it in the preview. Do make sure you vote for us in the Football Blogging Awards. You know, there will be the link down in the description below again on the footballbloggingawards.co.uk. You can vote over there or on Twitter with the tweet that you see right now. You know, if you tweet that, you would vote for us and we would honestly massively appreciate that because if we could actually win that award, that would just be incredible. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Up the Chelsea, got the important win. And I'll see you next time.